step out. Is that a request or lawful order? I'm requesting you. Sir, I'm going to ask you to, to back, step take out. a few steps back. You're in my personal space. You take need a, to take leave. a few steps back. You need to get out of my personal space. I'm not going anywhere. If you're, if you're doing it's a limited business. public forum, I am conducting business. First, First Amendment protected business. Or if you uh -huh. if you interfere, <laughs> you will be held liable. I'll sue you. You'll need your qualified immunity, on. Lieutenant. No, 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 no. He just needs to step out. He just needs to step So I was explaining. Out. You looked like you're about to go hands on there for a minute. Need medication. I understand they have a policy, but that policy doesn't trump the United States. It doesn't supersede the Constitution. So I just want to make sure that nobody, that he doesn't make a big mistake. If I don't leave right now, what's going to happen? You will be arrested and you will be trespassed. I need to hear from law enforcement. Welcome back, Liberty Trollers. We are in Lake County, tax collector's office in Lake County, Florida. About to head in, make sure that our public servants treat we the people with respect and not discriminate over taking pictures in publicly accessible areas. So we're, we're expecting them to honor our rights here at the very least. I did see security inside. Not sure if it's law enforcement or otherwise, but we're about to find out. Um, we just came from the city hall in Leesburg, which is less than about two miles away and didn't experience any issues there at all. So it's looking, this county's looking pretty good so far. This is my first time touching this area. Uh, so let's go ahead and head on in while we still maintain the element of surprise. I already have cameras watching we the people. This is uh, David Jordan, Lake County Tax Collector. It's not a very big, uh, hey, good morning. It's not a very big office. Pretty big waiting area here, though. Restrooms and testing center. This is no video or audio recording allowed on this point. I'm not sure if that's referring to that door. Probably not. Sir. We're out here. Sir. Huh? Sir. No audio or video recording past here. Well, that's just the policy, sir. That's not the law. Are you are you a law enforcement officer? That's why. That's why I'm you. Can I get your name and badge number, sir? My Badge number is 550. 550? And you're, I can't see your, your name tag. Lieutenant Ross. Lieutenant Ross. Okay, hey, the reason Lieutenant. you can't take a video back there is because people's driver's license and personal information is back there. I understand. You, I understand the reason. you need to see someone, just go get a number. Yeah, I understand. I'm just here to gather content for a story. I'm not here to, okay. you know, get a driver's just license. Just go get a number. I, oh, if I get a number, I can go back in there? No yeah, problem. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Get a number. All right, get no problem. Get a number. Do no problem. you need to do. Yeah, no issue. Where's it at? You gotta go see her. Whatever you need to do, whatever transaction. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, could you get me a number? He said I need to get a number in order to go back in there. I'm just gathering content for a story. A what? Gathering content for a story. Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah, I'm getting some B-roll footage and doing a little story on the DMV here in Lake County. He said I need a, uh, he said I can go back there as long as a, a number or so. Hold on one minute. I don't think, so I don't think you guys have numbers for that sort of thing anyway. <laughs> I'm just being nice right now, guys. What'd you say? I'm doing good. What did, what did she say? Are you, am I getting a number or? Sure, yeah, no worries. Yeah, I need to get a flash plate. The whole thing. Okay, let me go Okay, so this sign right here is referring to this area over there, but it's not referring to this door. That's why I thought it might. Might be referring to. Yeah, 
That's where you uh, get your picture taken. These little machines here. Then they have these uh, QR codes. You want to take out your phone and take a picture. And this right here is your uh, driver's license identification card pickup. Excuse me. Hmm? Well, I just tried to get a number. She said they don't have numbers for that. You can't be back here. Sensitive information. You can't be back here. Sir, wherever the, pre wherever the people can, can be, the press. You can stay out there. Wherever the people can be, the press can be. That's case sure, law. you can be out there. You can't be back here. Sure, People's I can. People's driver's licenses and stuff. I'm, it's here. not my intention to get that stuff, sir. Okay, sir. You need to step out that way. Or go in there, videotape whatever you want. You can't be back there. I'm allowed to videotape back there. I have a right to. So. You cannot be back there. First Amendment protected activity. If you interfere with sir, that today, you cannot be back there. sir. If you interfere with my first uh, First Amendment protected activity, you will be held liable. I'm just telling you, you cannot be back here. Okay. That's all. Okay. According to what? You cannot be back here. This is personal information. I understand. People's that. driver's license, social security. I'm not stuff here to get like that. that. That's not illegal, sir. I'm not here to gather that. But that's not illegal. You need to step out. Mm -hmm. Or what? Step out of here, please. What's going to happen if I don't? You just need to step out. This is a sensitive area. You need to step out. Are you Are you going to arrest me if I don't? I didn't say that. I told you to step out. The answer is no, if it's a request. Please step out. The answer is no. Step out. Is that a lawful order? I'm telling you right now, step out. What happens if I don't? Step out, sir. Are you going to arrest me if I don't? I don't know yet. I haven't decided that. Step out. Is that a request or lawful order? I'm requesting you, sir. I'm going to ask you to, to back, step take out. a few steps back. You're in my personal space. You take need a, to take leave. a few steps back. You need to get out of my personal space. I'm not going anywhere. I have a constitutional right to, to take pictures what? and video inside of my public building. Out there, that's the public out there. This it's is public in here. here. It's open to the public, sir. No, no, no. Time, if, place, and manner if restrictions. You're, if you're doing it's a limited business. public forum. I am conducting business. First, First Amendment protected business, sir. If you uh -huh. if you interfere, <laughs> you will be held liable. I'll sue you. You'll need your qualified immunity, Lieutenant. Do not come back here. What are you going to? You cannot are, come back. Here. Are you going to arrest me if I don't go back there? Sir, you cannot come back here. I'm telling I you. I can. I can physically walk back there if I decide area. to. You can't come back here. It's private. I'm telling you. You want to? Are you sure? Doing business. This is not private. D sir, you cannot come back. Here. Sir, this is not private. This is public. You stay right here. This is a public area. I'm just telling you, you stay right here. This I'm is just not telling public. you, I'm not going to listen to your, not to your request. It is public. It's not public back you, here. You want to take it to a judge? I guarantee you it is. It's not illegal. It's not my intention to get that information. Yeah, Lauren's right here. I can get her. She's on the phone. That's good. This guy's a tyrant. Okay. Okay. All right. That's what I'll do. Okay. Thanks. All right. Say your supervisor. Okay. I need to speak to your supervisor, sir. Requ I'm requesting your supervisor. I'm right here. No, law enforcement. Yeah, law enforcement supervisor. I am the law enforcement supervisor. I want to speak to your supervisor. What's that? There is because you don't understand I, the law, sir. You're you're law ignorant. I want to talk to somebody who understands the law. This is a public. This is a public space in a public building. I think you know I'm right. That's why you're not threatened to arrest me because you know you're going to lose in court if you go that route, sir. Right. Do not interfere with my with my First Amendment protected activity. It's not going to work out well for you. You're on the phone with them now, Lauren. Hey, Lauren, how you doing? 
Are you are you a supervisor here? Or? She runs oh, you she are. Runs okay. Runs Can I? I want to talk to you for a second. So yeah, my understanding is this is a this is a public building. This is a public accessible area wherever the people are allowed to be. It's open to the public. Time, place, and manner restrictions. Obviously, this being open to the public, the press can go wherever the people can go. Yeah, but you can't film customers' information, so that's why it's protected back here. I understand, but that's why it's the onus isn't on me though, as a member of the public, to protect that information. It's on you guys to create your own privacy or or you know or or do things a little bit more on the DL, you know what I'm saying? Like not to do things out loud where, you, where I can hear it. My intention is not to get that information. I could care less about that stuff, but it's not illegal to obtain that information. If you were to use that information in a criminal way, obviously, if I was to sell it on the black market or some, you know, something stupid like that, then obviously, yeah, that would be wrong. But yeah, you know, but you guys have QR codes here, which means you have to pull out your camera for that sort of stuff anyway, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gathering content for a story. I'm not here for nefarious purposes. Are you uh, calling supervisor, sir? No, you're doing great. I just, I don't know well, it's, it's part of your policy. If I re a member of the public asks for a supervisor, request a supervisor to get him. I already talked to my supervisor. I haven't talked to your supervisor. I'm requesting to talk to your supervisor. I'm not calling anybody. I already talked to him. Yeah, you're going to learn today, sir. This isn't North Korea, just so you know. You swore an oath to the Constitution, did you not, Lieutenant? My expectation is that you honor your oath, not be an oath breaker today. Yes. Promise you, the we'll lose in court. Here it is. First, that's the okay. okay. I'm sorry. What am I waiting on? With your with your uh, manager. Okay. So you guys don't have uh, cameras, body cams? Is that your supervisor? That was. All right, is he coming out to speak with me? No. All right, I'm requesting a supervisor, sir. I've asked you like, I asked you about 10 times already. So just to be clear, officer, if I was to go back there, uh -huh. oh, that's not true. This is a public space, and it's oper it's within operation hours. Yeah, I. I, I would ask that you look up the First Amendment under the Constitution of the United States. It already affords us the right to go into anywhere that's publicly accessible inside of a public building. Sure, you guys do whatever you got to do. Um, I've already told him, you know, what's going to happen if he decides to violate my rights today. But just so you know, whatever manager you spoke to, what was her name, by the way? You, you can't get that's a public information, though. Sorry? Miranda, Miranda what? Starling. Starling? Oh, like the Chevy Buick GMC Starling? Okay, gotcha. So um, just so, I know you're just trying to relay the information to me, but if, if something does happen and my rights are violated, just so he knows and your manager knows, uh, Ms. Starling will be on a fe uh, federal civil lawsuit. Okay, and this place will be liable, so yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to decline that request if that's a request. So law enforcement is on their way so they can Okay, well, who is he? Is he a lieutenant? Okay. He's with the sheriff's office. So, do you have arresting powers? Do you have arresting powers, Lieutenant? Let's talk to you, 
Okay. Well, then I'm going to continue doing no, what I was going to do. You cannot walk back here. Then, I already told you what's that. What's going to happen if I do? You cannot walk back here. Or else what? You cannot walk back here. You need to step that way. Or else what? They've already asked you to step that way. And I turned down their, that request. Well, you need, you need, you're going to need to All requests? This all requests? Area. This is not a sensitive area, sir. This is open to the public. This, no, this is sensitive area back I'm not gathering any information. That's not my intent. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. You can't not. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to listen to your request. Okay. Are you giving me a lawful order? What law do you suspect me of committing, sir? What law do you suspect me of violating? I'll tell you right now, you're 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 on thin ice right now. You're the one that's violating my rights. Hey, how you doing, sir? No, 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 no. He just needs to step out. He just needs to step out. So I was explaining. You looked like you're about to go hands on there for a minute. I'm I'm here in a public area. This is a public area in a public building. You need to leave. And we don't want to start a disturbance. There, if you start a disturbance, what's going to happen is that's going to be a breach of the peace. You're starting a disturbance, sir. I'm not. I'm if just here exercising. I'm just telling you, you cannot be back here. All right, so I'm exercising my rights. I'm, I'm taking pictures and video inside of a public space in a public building. I'm not disturbing the peace. I'm not keeping the people from doing their... Sir, I'm not leave. done. Can I talk to him? Do you want to the manager over here? Yeah, we got to yeah. talk What's your name and badge number, sir? Abu Saritza, 3213. All right, I'm Zach. Nice to meet you. What's your badge number again? Sorry, I didn't catch 13. that. 2213? 321. 321. Okay, gotcha. So, yeah, I'm just in here, like I said, um, taking pictures. That's all. I'm not, you know, wherever the people can be, the press can be. I'm taking uh, pictures for a story I'm working on. Okay. That's all. So he's giving me a hard time about it. He's standing awfully close. I've asked him to take a step back. The manager has asked you to do whatever you want out there. Okay, she's you asking me. Back here. I, it's a request. She told you or she said she was going to call the sheriff's office. This is one of our deputies. I'm so, going to do this detail here. And he's asking you now also to step out there. What's going to happen if I don't step out? Because let me tell you right now, if you guys interfere you with... create a breach of the peace, you go to jail. Sir, you're interrupting me. You're the one that's being disruptive. Let me explain to him what I explained to you. If you guys interfere with me participating in First Amendment protected activity, which is protected in the Constitution of the United States, you guys will be held liable. So I get that part, but to get access here, you have to be called and you have to be here for a reason. So I am here for a reason. Constitutionally protected yeah, to get like IDs and everything like that. I mean, people's information are out here. And you're I understand that. It's not my, just so I'll tell you the same no, thing. I'm, I'm not you know, here to get that information. I could care less, I understand. but that's you know, not illegal. No, no, okay. That's not illegal. Yeah. What you do with it criminally, I mean, that's a whole other thing. But I'm not here to but gather this is that. A separate part of the building that requires you to get a, you know, ticket for. I'm not here for those types here. of services. You don't right. need a ticket to exercise your rights. But you need a ticket to get here. That's not true. If you're here to get a license or one of those other do you services. Have that on paper? Hmm? Do you have that on paper? Have what on paper? That says what you just stated. You just stated that you need a ticket yeah, number. Do you, do you have a? I asked them for a ticket. I asked them for a ticket number. They said we don't give ticket numbers for for press. So that's kind of a mute point. But do you do you have any kind of rule that says that you can be back here without one of those tickets? I don't care about the rules, sir. I care about the law. Well, First Amendment. Rules, laws. Freedom, freedom of press, so right? You've heard of freedom of press, law, correct? Well, you're, you swore an oath to the Constitution, did you not? Yeah, I did. So my expectation is that you're to honor that oath. Yeah. I didn't swear an oath to the Constitution. I'm just exercising it. Okay. Okay. So we, we shouldn't have an issue. Unless I keep people from doing their jobs or I break the law, there's there's nothing for you guys to do here. Yeah, I mean, okay. I'm not, not going to be here for that long, brother. I'm, I'm just in here taking pictures. That's not a big deal. I'm not here to gather anybody's con uh, you know personal information. But if that does happen, it's not like it's against the law. Right. So, okay, let me put it this way. All right. Outside of the Constitution and everything, just man to man, right? Would you be willing to just briefly finish what you got going on? Just yeah, recording? I wasn't going to be here finish too long. What you want past right. there? Because the, the main the main thing that people are upset about is you're over here putting cameras on them. I mean, you have the right to do so. I'm not telling you that you can't. But I mean, you got yeah. you got to think how they think, right? If somebody's coming in here with a camera recording them. They don't want to be reported. Sure, and the onus is on them to protect that information, but they have to do it in a way that's not going to invade on somebody no, else's right. I, I don't disagree with you. There's, on they that can create their privacy. They can take them back in a room if right. they need to. If somebody has an issue with it, or they can write it down on a piece of paper, slide it under the under the uh, little um, plexiglass, plexiglass yeah. there. So I mean, there's there's other options. Um, I'm not here to. Give just anybody to, a hard just time. to reduce the ease, can you just do your walkthrough, do what you gotta do, record, but then just finish reporting out there in the lobby? Like, yeah, I've already got, I've already got most, <laughs> I've already so, got most of the stuff out there. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna take that long. I can't say how long we're gonna be because I'm gonna get some B-roll footage and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna be standing over anyone's shoulder getting their, getting their information. That's fine. All right, so I can meet you in the middle there, but that's, that's already what my intention was gonna be anyway. Okay. Um, but if you can explain to him, you know, he needs to work on his de-escalation. Um, he tried to escalate the situation, was refusing to. 
you know, answer my questions after a certain point. And I asked him, I requested a supervisor. He said he's not getting anybody out here for me. My understanding is, he is the, the supervisor. yeah, but I was wanting his supervisor because obviously he's ignorant of the law. He's about to go hands on and, and, uh, you know, violate my rights and cost a big civil lawsuit. So, um, so it doesn't sound like I'm going to have an issue with you. I appreciate that you're wearing a body cam, by the way. I didn't know what was going on, so. <laughs> is is your body camera on, by the way? Okay, I saw the red light. Okay, cool. It's all, it's all recorded. So. All right, cool. I didn't, I didn't know what I was rolling up into, yeah, so. Yeah, it, it looks like you're about to like, like, like scoop me up there so for a second. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> coming over here, so I'm like, okay, close by, but. Yeah, maybe yeah, just, give, just yeah. get your B-roll, do what you got to do, and then just record everywhere else. Yeah. Just try not to put it in your face. Or oh, absolutely. I'm not that kind of person. No, not at all. Yep. All right. All right. Thank you. I'm doing you, just, you can't come back here, though. Oh, he just yeah. said I can get my... No, he cannot. He cannot. He cannot come back here. I can't. You cannot. You're creating a disturbance, sir. I would have been out of here. Sir, you cannot the, uh, videotape uh, back here. I'm going to get some Sir, you cannot. I can't. You're dealing with that. What's the Supreme Law of the land? He cannot be taken back. What's the Supreme Law of the land? What's the Supreme Law of the land? If I put a sign on my forehead and said no white people allowed back here, would you would you honor that that sign? I don't give a I don't give a hoot what the sign says. You cannot videotape back here. Okay, well. You cannot be here in America. Go go to North Korea or somewhere where you live under some kind of communist regime. Like here in America, I can come back here if I want to. Are you giving me a lawful order? What's going to happen if I, I do? I am. You need to stay that way. So if I go back here, what's going to happen? He can't come back here. See, this is why I requested a supervisor. This guy has no idea like what he's about to get himself into. Excuse me, sir. I don't know. Does he have me detained right now? Huh? It sounds like he was giving me a lawful order, which means I would be detained. If... That is, I don't know. I'm not going to give you an answer I don't know so don't know what's going on alright so we have kudos to this guy de-escalation this guy wants to escalate things so I'm just going to make a quick run through real quick alright thanks how you guys doing? Good, buddy. Good, man. How you doing? Good, good. I heard you say something. You have a buddy yeah, man, who does this, good. right? Good, Thanks. Man. I appreciate like it. That. Look me up later, man. It's a, uh, it's a uh, liberty control. Sir, don't report me. I'm consent reporting. You're in public. Do not. It doesn't report matter. Me. I just get told you you do not have a pipe. Then don't talk to the cameraman. That's like the, the stupidest thing you can do. Okay. All right. All right. Sir, you're gonna be offensive. You can leave. No you're right. you're offending me for trying to violate my rights. Why don't you? You don't have rights. It says on the, on the sign over there. You should have stayed home. Yeah. You should have stayed at home. Sign, you're not allowed to have oh. you're Did you read the Constitution? The I don't care about the rules. Oh, we can tell Look you. up the First Amendment. We're in America. So, All right. We are in America, but you're yeah. giving us a bad name. Well, you obviously think we you think we're in North Korea. Yeah. You need medication. Amen. A lot of it. You need help. Here okay. You You're entitled to your opinion. Okay. You should check yourself in the live stream when you leave. Yes, please. So back here you got some license plates. So this is key card access. You, you're not, you're not this guy's a tyrant. What a desperate cry for attention. I'm not going to let you bait me into an argument, sir. You're creating, a, you're creating a disturbance. She's got QR codes, which means you have to take out your phone I mean, take a what's picture. Your, what's your agenda here? What's your goal? What's your end game? First Amendment protected activity. Yeah. What does that even mean? What's that mean? Listen, listen to me for a second. Let's just no, level for a second. No, what's your name? You. What's your first name? Okay, well, you wanted to engage in the conversation, yeah. so I just... I told you you need help. Mental okay. help. Okay. Your brain is not functioning right. Did you serve in the military? If you do not go out to the lobby, Lake County Police Department, Sheriff's Department, is going to trespass you from here. I need to hear it from the from the law no, enforcement officer. Is, I am the manager She's here. the manager. Bye-bye. I have just spoken with my boss and our tax collector. So you if leave you now, you're going to be trespassed. The lobby, you're right. going to For, be by who? By, by Well, she... By Lake County but you guys enforce trespasses, oh, right? So if I don't leave right now, what's going to happen? 
You will be arrested and you will be trespassed. I need to hear from law enforcement. You're not law enforcement. No, we're telling you that she is, we're, you're being trespassed from this area. Why won't you just give me a yes or no? Will I be, will I be arrested if I don't leave? If you don't leave after your trespass, it is a trespass after warning. If we trespass you because she wants you trespassed and you refuse to leave at that time, that time you go to Okay, I need to know when we're at that point. So if I don't leave well, right now, trespassed. if I don't leave right now, will I be under arrest? You're going to be trespassed right now and asked to leave. Will I be arrested if I don't leave right now? Once you're trespassed and we read the trespass warning to you, once okay. you're trespassed, I'll wait, I'll wait for the, point, I'll wait for the warning. I'll wait for the warning. They're right. <laughs> Let, let's just be a man and just tell me, hey, if be a man and tell me, if if I don't leave, what's going to happen? Just say the magic words and I'll leave. Under threat of arrest, I'll leave. Say the magic words, Lieutenant. How you doing, sir? I'm doing all right. Well, I was doing better, but. Hey, Sergeant, how you doing? What What's your name and badge number? Uh, Sergeant Abstin. Sergeant Abstin? Yes, sir. And your badge number, I'm sorry? 10. 10. Oh, just 10. Okay, that's simple. All right, I can remember that. My name's Zach. So I'm back here. I'm, I'm engaged in constitutionally protected activity, First Amendment, uh, freedom of press. This guy's trying to escalate the situation. He's creating a disturbance. I'm just minding my own business, taking peacefully taking pictures. I'm not trying. It's not my intention, uh, Sergeant, to get anybody's personal information. That's not against the law anyway, but I'm not here to do that. I understand they have a policy, but that policy doesn't trump the United States. It doesn't supersede the Constitution. So I just want to make sure that nobody, that he doesn't make a big mistake and cost, you know, a civil lawsuit, which would be a 1983 civil lawsuit, civil rights violations. Okay. Okay. He decides to do. I'm just here to the situation. I got you. All right. So he's asking me for a trespass. Yeah. We okay. I would just ask whatever decision you guys do. My my expectation is you guys honor your oath and don't violate my rights. Obviously, let me finish up here. I'm I'm not going to be here. You know, until they close. But but if you guys leave, excellent. I'll probably be here shortly after that but if you guys decide to go the route of okay you're going to try to enforce a trespass and then you guys give me a threat of arrest i'll leave at that point just so you know there's no need for anybody to get arrested or anything like that so if it gets to that point i'm just like no i will leave under threat of arrest he's, he's okay to be right, i appreciate so you for us to trespass you we're going to use your id in the state of florida all you need is a physical description you can't order a, a an id driver's license number to go with the trespass you need a physical description that's not how it works in our system and I, don't, I don't work for the police department though in the united states all you need is a physical description you cannot demand id unless there's a law being broken i have not broken any laws well, you're well then i have an opportunity to leave at that point and then i just leave We've and and you, you guys can't. There's no laws that have been broken. So hmm. We're told you we're about to trespass you. So if I don't leave, I'm going to be arrested. Correct. At this point. Now okay. Then I'll leave. Okay. All right. Bye bye. And what was your name again? Lucy All right. And your name? Ross. Ross. Okay. Adios. Everybody, give him a round of applause. Bye. Thanks for raising the party. Yeah. Way to go, buddy. You're so awesome. Is it the whole building? Is it the whole building? Live streams is three blocks down the road. Yeah, this guy's a tyrant. <laughs> You're going to be famous. You're going to be famous. You were nice at first, but you ultimately are violating my rights. Tyrants. All right, so where am I trespassed to? So... The issue was, okay, at the end, is just like any other this secure wants part entertainment. of the building, okay? Once you pass that point, it's now a secure part of the building. It's completely separate from the tax collector's office itself, and it's a separate entity. So the moment that you pass back there... That's still, that's to open to back. the public, sir. They have services the, for the, the public back in there. for the public, but for you to get access to that part, you have to have an articulable reason for you to go back there. Yeah, the constitutional I protected any business. Of the services that they provide. All right, so how do you say your last name again? I'm sorry, I can't. Abusaritza. A, it's right there. You can a, I can't read. read. Right it's hard for me to pronounce. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be funny, no, but um, okay. I just I just like to be respectful and, you know, um, deputy, right? Okay, yes. I'll go by your military rank. So deputy. Okay. Um, I understand they have a process in which they want to do things, mm -hmm. but again, um, camera back. I'm going to FOIA request that. Don't delete that footage, sir. That's public record you're creating there. Um, so wherever it's open to the public, the press can be. The Supreme Court has already ruled. It's already been decided on 
that taking pictures and video inside public spaces and public buildings is legitimate business for news gathering purposes, which is what I'm here to do. I don't disagree with you, but that part of the building articulates Again, the that's, same as a courthouse where you can't record in... In a courthouse, you, you yeah, in a courtroom you can't, yeah, correct. That is the same, but that's not the same, the same thing as a courtroom. It's not the same as a courtroom because there's people in there conducting business. Imagine this, imagine this. Would it make sense for press to go into not be able to go into an area where an average Joe can go into if they had news gathering for the say that that area but that but it makes Joe's no sense going to get a service done sir so you're done. I'm maybe just maybe if you grabbed a ticket and you came back there with your camera going to get your driver's license would be different I'm because now you have a reason to be there but you went back there without any intentions to either get a driver's license it doesn't matter I've already been through that man it's constitution protected so, activity yeah, and you guys right you guys fight. violated right now, my rights I'm just doing as I'm told but so. you guys violate my rights and okay. I will see you guys in court. Okay. Okay. That's fine. All right. Um, so where am I? How long is the trespass for? At this point you left before I was even able to trespass you. So, so I'm not trespassed. No. Okay. I'm going back in then. No. You, well, I, I can't no. trespass him without his ID. I don't, I don't okay. know who he is. So I need his ID to trespass no, him. Sure, trying to trespass. Trying to drive. So. He just said I'm not trespassed. No, you are trespassed. We do not want you here. How long is the trespass for? It's an effort. So forever. Okay. Until they drop it. It's up to them to drop it. So if I go back inside, are you going to arrest me? You will have to be arrested, yes, because we've just advised you you've been trespassed from this property. Okay. So we're where's, the, where's the end of the property? Out there on the road. Okay. I'll see you in court. Tyrants. All right. Actually, I do appreciate you exercising your First Amendment right. Did you, did you accomplish what you hoped to accomplish? No, my expectation is that they would uphold my rights, but unfortunately, we're well, seeing well, our well, rights being well, taken. Hold on, I'm answering well, your question. Right. Our rights are being taken away every day. It's well, not. Well, it's well, not right. Well, what, did, what did they do? What did they do wrong? They did honor their oath. And so me, uh, peacefully record inside of a public area. In what? A building what, say, what? What? What did you? What did you want to record right. for? Huh? Over here, I'm citizen press. So, citizen under, press. so under the First Amendment, you can be a, you can be, a, you can be pressed as well. So wherever the people are allowed to be, I was explaining to them. Yeah, I know that you can record anybody you want. Yeah, it's, it's almost like asking for trouble, though. Like, you, you know that. I mean, you, you're smart enough to know that pulling out a camera. You're begging for somebody to come in. And That's not like, true. Maybe some people. But, I can speak for myself there, brother. But what but, what I do is but, I, I exercise it peacefully. Now, I would have just been quiet. I wouldn't have said a word if they wouldn't have said anything to me. If I just would have gone in there and nobody said a word to me, just like the city hall that I just came from, they didn't say a word to me. I just left. What was the goal of the video? What was the goal? Like, what it's to it? show what's going on in this country, to show them that... After DMV? Yeah, just to see uh, if, if our law enforcement, if our rights are being oh, upheld so by that, law enforcement. So that was your end game, and to our, see if they were going to... To see if they were going to, you know, okay. honor their oath or be an oath breaker or an oath keeper. I got it. And they unfortunately uh, broke, you know, violated their, their oath. So, that was, uh, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to take it to court. Um, it's called a 1983 civil lawsuit. And I then saw. I could see that you were trying to trap them, and they wouldn't say they wouldn't say certain things. Yeah, they know see. I'm right, and, and they're just trying to their, their egos get in the way, right. and then they start creating disturbance, right. and then like right. yourself and others no, start saying, "Well, I don't want to be reported," and you know they create disturbance. But here's the thing: like you know that they can't cross a certain line, and if they cross that line, then then you're basically. You're trying to bait them, man, and like I don't understand the goal. I just want them to tell me what their intentions are. Um, I want them to be clear because and, and a request think, is a request. A lawful order is a lawful order. To be quite honest, I, I, he, well, I got the verbal threat of arrest. They told me if I go back in there, I'll be arrested. That's enough to uphold in the court of law. So what's going to happen is I can personally sue them. The loser qualified immunity, um, or they can give me a payout of some sort. But my goal is to make changes here so I can come back for? and. What? What would you assume? For? Civil rights violations, uh, First Amendment. Freedom, it's called freedom of press under the First Amendment. Um, look up First Amendment auditors it on YouTube. I okay. I watch. Um, but yeah, just you can look up this one probably uh, within a week. You'll see this one. You're I got on a. YouTube? Yeah, yeah, I got a you know, decent sized following. Got one or two followers, you know. <laughs> um, well, listen. Best of luck to you, man. Yeah. Well, hey. Take, take it easy. Should I, I believe it? Huh? Thank you. Appreciate you, brother. All right, Liberty Trollers, we're just now leaving the tax collector's office here in Lake County. Wow, big difference from what I just experienced at the City Hall, where nobody gave me any issues whatsoever. However, 
Uh, the sheriff's office here, big fail. They violated my First Amendment right to uh, freedom of press inside of the public spaces, inside the public buildings. Yeah, so you saw it guys, they gave me a, a verbal threat of arrest, saying if I go back in there, I will be arrested. You saw how they were trying to dance my question because they know that if they say the magic words and they give me a threat of arrest of any kind and prevent me from doing what I have a right to do, that is a civil rights violation, 100%. I will be following up on this. I have four years in the state of Florida to file it. Of course, it's not gonna take me that long, guys, but I do have a bucket list of other civil lawsuits to get around to. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Liberty Troll, out. How you doing today? My name's Zach. Dave. So I was down at the uh, tax collector's office. I have the case number and stuff. You probably heard about it already, but it was... So the lieutenant over there, I think, is it Moss? Ross. From, uh, Ross, okay. It was Moss something. But um, anyway, so I was recording back in the publicly accessible areas. Um, and uh, I explained to him that I was there to, I was engaged in constitutionally protected activity under the First Amendment. And he didn't seem to care. He was, you know, you need to leave. And I said, well, is that a request or, or an order? And he's like, it's a, you know, I'm asking you to leave. I said, well, if it's a request, I'm going to decline. And I was trying to get him to either, you know, honor his oath or, you know, just get right to it. You know, be a man sure. and just tell me what your intentions are. You know, I, was, I told him that my intention was not to get any of the information, public information, or excuse me, the, anyone's private information, which is not illegal, by the way, but I wasn't there to do that. Uh, I was gathering content for a story. Um, you probably have an idea of what I'm doing, but mm -hmm. um, he's, you know. He gave me a threat of arrest. I wanted to see if I if I go back, you know, if I'm going to be placed under arrest, if that uh, building, the tax collector's office, wants to trespass me, are you guys going to enforce it? Or maybe we can work something out, maybe get it lifted so I can finish up real quick and then call it a day. Well, so that's here's, kind of my here's county ordinance. I don't know if you have that. You can, I made that copy for you so you can read it. You yeah. can read the verbiage in there. There are restricted areas, limited restricted yeah. areas. Sure. And then the tax collector's office were other citizens are, are conducting personal business sure. and they have an expectation of privacy back there. And, and I know all, at all the tax collector's offices, clearly noted, signage, no, no video recording in yeah, these areas. Yeah, I saw that, yeah, yeah. So if you are in those areas and you're asked to leave and you refuse to leave, mm -hmm. um, then their next step is going to be to trespass you. And it's my understanding you were trespassed from, from that building. Yeah, so it, I it, was trespassed then, okay, right? Okay, so yes. Okay. And if you go back to that building and go in that building, you will be arrested. Okay, thank you for letting me know. But mm -hmm. the signs don't have a, they're not referencing a statute. You know, you can't have an ordinance that says, for example, you know, you have to use a red pen instead of a black pen, you know, um, because it doesn't uphold, it doesn't supersede the Constitution. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know it might, it's, it's not crazy talk what I'm talking about. I mean, it's still the supreme law of the land. It's, you know, what everything else should, should abide by. If you have some type of disagreement or uh, you don't agree with what's in there, then maybe take it up with the Board of County Commissioners. Yeah. Um, so what I'll probably do, because what Lieutenant Ross did was he gave me what's called standing. So what I'll do is I'll take that to civil court and challenge that policy. Perfect. Um, unfortunately, nowadays, it's the only way to get some change around All right, here. Good luck. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Have a great day. Have a good one. All right, guys. Be well. safe out there. All right, Liberty Trollers. We're just now leaving the Lake County Sheriff's Office, as you just saw there. The captain confirmed that I have indeed been officially trespassed and if I go back doing the same thing I was doing in the same areas that of course are public but he disagrees and the ordinance apparently disagrees I tell you man I'm running into more and more tyrants and more and more ordinances that somehow think that these these lesser laws or lesser ordinances policies somehow supersede the Constitution it's very unfortunate we're not going to go back because there's no need to get arrested but I will be taking this to court now that I do have confirmation from the captain I did not get his name that's an L on my part I usually ask for you know name badge number totally forgot this time but anyway he is a captain was cordial enough but you know got right to the point like a man told me what was up I appreciate that at least I will take this to court at some point after my like I said before, I have a bucket list of lawsuits that I, I've got to get around to starting with Polk County. So you're, you guys are going to be patient with me. It's not a quick process at all. I'm waiting for a case that I have open currently to wrap up so that I can proceed with a civil lawsuit against Polk County. And then from there, probably the Orlando City Hall. And then from there, you know, I've already got a list of places that have unlawfully trespassed me, including the Lake County Sheriff's Office from the Lake County tax collectors.
in Leesburg, Florida. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll keep you guys updated as I get them. I'll see you guys in the next video. Liberty Troll, out.